Okay, here's a simple tutorial on uh, making high quality YouTube videos using a widescreen HD source from a camcorder. And we'll start by changing our project properties. I like to use uh, 1080 by 60i uh, for my camera source. Let's put the following settings in there. And I click uh, save to all. So every time I open it up, it'll use the same project settings. I captured my video uh, earlier using my Canon HV20 uh, camcorder. It records in high definition video to uh, mini DV tapes. So I'll just go here to the removable drive on the server and uh, pull the video off. And just click open. It'll automatically drag it in uh, to your timeline for you. You can go ahead and make your edits to your video and audio. I won't go too in depth. Um, if you've ever used a nonlinear uh, program before, it's pretty similar. Or if you're using Vegas already, you already know how to do it. Uh, so I'll just make a couple here just for this tutorial. Just put a couple text in. Uh, once I get everything in, uh, I kind of like to play through the video all the way to see if there's any blips in the audio. Uh, if any of the frames have dropped, if there's any other errors, uh, I'll just play briefly through this one through a little bit, and then we'll go and render it to send it out to YouTube. Once you're done with that, you can just uh, click File and then Render As. Uh, I like to use uh, the main concept AVC MPEG-4. You can just click that, and you can use I'm going to make a custom template. I named mine YouTube HQ. I'll show you the settings. We'll just click custom here. We'll bring up the display box. You click video and uh, you'll change the screen size to 640 by 480. Your profile is going to be main frame rates 29.97. Uh, progressive scan, aspect ratio of 1.0, and then maximum uh, minimum for BPS. In your audio, I just use the, the settings that comes by default. Make sure that include video is there. Uh, this is the real thing you want to focus on. Make sure that this box is not checked. Otherwise, it'll stretch the video and it'll look horrible. And just add your file name. And then click Save, and it'll start rendering for you. And that's how you do it. 